Hi students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep and we have yet another topper from gate 2024, Purali Sai Shan Mukha, having secured All India Rank 71 in gate 2024. He basically is from electrical engineering, but he have appeared in the gate examination from electronics and communication engineering. So let's hear the story of uh, Shan Mukha today. Ki, you know, first of all, why from electrical he wanted to go to electronics domain and then getting a good rank 71 with uh, I think 56.33 marks. What was his preparation journey? That can be a motivation to many of the aspirants of the upcoming year. Okay, because, you know, even if, you know, from different, different toppers, if you get just one good word of advice also, maybe your next year rank, okay, 2025 or 26 rank can also drastically change. So, first of all, welcome uh, to Baiju's exam prep, Shanmukha, and a heartiest congratulations from our side to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So, so how do you feel now, uh, having secured success in Gate24? Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very much happy about that. All right. Even so, my parents uh, are all. Okay. So uh, introduce yourself about your education when you completed your graduation from where do you belong and etc. Let's start talking about that. Okay, sir. First of all, my name is Purali Sai Shanuka. I am from Anantapuram, Andhra Pradesh. Okay. I completed my graduation in uh, University of Vishweshwara College of Engineering, Bangalore. Okay. And from I'm from graduated of electrical and electronics engineering. Okay. Right. So, uh, yeah, as I mentioned in the beginning also that you are from electrical. So yes, what sir. motivated you to appear in the kit from electronics and communication engineering? So, okay. To work in the VLSA domain. So it is, I thought of better uh, competing from electrical and electronics. I better choose rather than electrical. And so I went for EC. Yeah, that that's, I think that's a very good approach because, you know, even if you go from like double E, because, you know, I have seen, uh, you know, many as aspirants, even in my time, you know, when I did my uh, master's from IIC Bangalore, even the electrical students, uh, you know, mostly were interested in, uh, you know, VLSI industries, just because placement is good and till date also yeah. the same scenario. So even electrical aspirants for placement point of view, the favorite choice is VLSI. So if you write on the gate with EC, so, you know, prior to going to MTech only your concepts of EC are a little bit better. Okay, so you get a little bit edge. Okay, so yeah, good approach. Good yeah. approach, I would say, uh, Shannon. Yeah. So, uh, you. You know, during your preparation journey, how you focused on concepts, how you worked on improving concepts, because, you know, uh, we have seen gate examination is not that examination where it is just formula-based exam. Uh, ultimately, you will apply yeah. formula, but, you know, the concept behind uh -huh. it, the calculations behind it must be crystal clear. So, what was your approach to conceptual yes, preparation? Sir, uh, I, focused, I focused on the concept very much less. Because even though we are we are having less conceptual, we are having somewhat clumsy about the concept. If you are doing a lot of problems, you will get good command on concept even. Mm. So I used to spend less time on concept and used to spend more time on problems, doing solving problems, so that my even conceptually I was I was able to grow up myself. Yeah, so because I thought of doing a lot of problems can help us better. Yeah, maybe different approaches you develop from solving different problems, yes. right? Yes. Okay, uh, so problems made, did you only focus on previous year questions or you solved separate, uh, you know, standard books or workbook no, no, type of question? Yeah, yeah. I used to solve from different, different from sources. Okay. Uh, wherever I get questions, some used to see in the groups like that. I used to solve a lot of questions. All right, all right. So your, your major building block of, uh, you know, your preparation was a different variety of questions and learning through yes, questions. Sir. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, so, I, uh, I was almost learned from the questions itself. Okay. So you're, you're ranked from question. Great. approach. Because competitive exam, you know, more the number of questions you solve for any competitive exam, be it gate, ESE or any other domain also, if I say, okay, that problem solving capability is the biggest tool of getting this examination into yes, yes, place. And other than that, what was your approach to test? Did you take test series importantly or was it just a light matter for you? No, no, sir. I, I used to give tests uh, from the starting of the starting of my preparation. When I used to prepare for a subject, even if uh, there are some subtopics for the test. So mm -hmm. after completion of each and every topics, I used to attempt for the test. Okay. So I started my pre giving tests from the initial stage. Sir. Okay. I almost gave a uh, lot of sets, less tests. Sir. Test. Oh, okay. All right. So in test, were you, your focus was subject test or mock test or both of them? So I used to prepare uh, like it is my last attempt for each and every topic wise also. Okay. 
Okay, so I used to give my hundred percent for each and every test, sir. Each, yeah, whether it is topic test or uh, mock test. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, uh, I have a question here. Like you know, many students. First of all, there are category of students who don't appear much for test. They are fearful that they might be demotivated. But that's yes. not also good yes. because ultimately, yeah. maybe you score less in one or two tests, but you can improve. But if you score less in yes, games, sir. then your entire year is gone. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, there are some yes, students sir. who appear in test. They just look into the marks and just neglect it, and they go to next test. Okay, yeah, without yeah. analyzing how important analysis of test series is. I mean, there might have been test series for you which have gone very bad. Okay, how did you learn from yes, it? Sir. Okay, so can you explain about your experience of you know bad tests? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also got very less marks at forty. Uh, I used to say to forty, thirty-eight. Okay. I, uh, from from that the questions that which I which I went wrong, I used to revise the concept from that. I used to solve. I used to again. Uh, rewrite those questions. I mean, rewrite to uh, resolve that questions. Mm. So that uh, after uh, almost after one week or two weeks, I used to again go back to that question and I used to check whether I can. Uh, I my thought will go to that approach yeah, that, or not. Correct. That's what. That's what you know. There are th many aspirants working hard. Okay, but not everybody is a topper. Not everybody comes under rank hundred. So that distinguishing yes, factor is the learning journey. Okay, it's not only yes, hard work, but it has to be mixed with learning. What you're not able to do right now, are you able to do it two weeks or three weeks down the line? If yes, you're progressing. Yeah. If same thing, if you're yes, in the sir. same status after two weeks, then it's not progress. Okay, so you have to yeah. see yourself yes, progressing sir. throughout uh, your preparation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and that's what I think uh, you focused a lot on that. So, uh, and that's yeah. why you got the good result also. Okay. Yes, now, uh, any any special subjects uh, you know that uh, made you. No, struggle a lot, or were you good with all subjects? Ah, uh, no, no, sir. I was I was struggling with the electronic devices. Okay. Because uh, I don't have much concepts and basics, so I used to spend a lot of time for that. So oh. at last, uh, it it helped me from getting more marks rather than other subjects. Okay. Finally. Oh, great! Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. what you took it as a challenge then. Okay, ki that you are you are sure yeah, that yes, it's not my domain subject, so I need to work more over it. Yeah, yes. and 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 anything anything any comments about communication or EMFT because they are also the parts which is not in the double E syllabus. I mean EMFT is there in double E, but that is a very small portion. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, but sir. in EC it is there. Uh, the I learned both three subjects from the uh, scratch. Even though I was uh, at the initial stage, I was struggling for those, but I used to give a lot of effort for three, three only three 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 subjects okay. because uh, everyone was scoring on the common subjects. So mm. to to be in the top, we should. Focus on these big exactly. subjects. Who who exactly. is it? Everyone is living. Mm -hmm. So I, I I almost spent most of the time for these three subjects, and the remaining less time for for common subjects. Yeah, it it it, it you know whether it is W or E C, you know uh, most of the students will get marks from network control, maths, yes, digital. Sir. Most of them will get marks, but. To be in the topper zone for EC, EDC, analog communication, EMFT, you have to score from there. Yes, or if you yeah. are from double E, you have yes. to score from power system, machine, power electronics. So you have yes, to sir. score from yeah. common as well as core part to be in the uh, mix. Core, yes. Right. So uh, you know what is what was your approach to time management? I mean, were you able to during your test series time? Were you able to finish sixty five questions in three hours? Okay. Did you feel that uh, that six three hours were enough for sixty five questions or not? Initially, I was not able to finish those all the questions in a time hmm. because uh, we used to spend. Long, if we know one question, we cannot unable to leave that question, hmm. even though it is lengthy. So we yes. are trying to solve those yeah, particular question. Hmm. So like that, almost uh, at the starting stage, I am unable to complete all the sixty-five question. And hmm. uh, slowly, when I while I was practicing, practicing, almost at the end of the almost, uh, December January, I hmm. used to solve all the questions. I used to attempt all the questions, and I tried. Write all the questions. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So slowly, slowly with practice, you improved your speed. Yeah. 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 Yes, and that is true. Also, sometimes you know that happens. In, you know, with many aspirants in the gate exam time also that yeah. they see a question and uh, maybe it is their favorite subject, but sometimes you know, uh, so from sometimes from easy subjects also they can give lengthy question. Okay. Maybe yes, you feel it is easy and your favorite subject, and because yeah. of that emotion, you spend five ten minutes on a particular question. So you don't have to be emotional in the exam. Okay, because in that ten minutes, maybe you can solve four other questions, and then you can become a yes, topper. You have to learn about that. Yes, sir. right. So, yes, sir. Uh, you know, uh, Shanmukha, uh, any double E students thinking for EC, okay, 
what is your advice for those students if those people are interested in electronics domains it is better to uh, write from electronics and communication okay yes. it is it is very good i mean we can start from the scratch from yes. here itself uh, okay. by writing electrical paper after that we have to struggle for the basics of uh, communication if communication or devices yes so uh, starting from ec itself is a better thing correct 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 yes. so now uh, now where does uh, shanmuka want to see himself which iit or iic you are targeting what's your career goals uh, i was planning for mtech uh, my first preference was iisc mm. and then bombay i see like we have to yeah. yes yeah so uh, so i see you're looking for microelectronics or uh, the cdt the department of electronic system engineering no no microelectronics and vlc microelectronics okay so okay so uh, yeah we just wish uh, you all the best that you get your desired seat and uh, desired uh, college and uh, with, with with the ambitions that you had to grow in microelectronics you will definitely grow because you have learned electronics because this itself yes. shows you know Uh, what your true potential is? You have come out of electrical, yeah. worked hard, and got something. Yes. Okay, so that shows that yes, you have sir. the potential to work hard and achieve something. And if you have that potential, if you have that skill, you will work hard. You know, what what we always yes, tell sir. students is, gate maybe is a small part of your life, but you know, preparing yes, for sir. gate or any competitive examination will teach you how to struggle, will teach you how to work hard. And once you develop that yes, skill, then you will work hard in your you know M Tech also in your. corporate yeah. life also everywhere you, that skill yes, will sir. come okay and if you are lazy yeah. if you don't have the ability to work hard everywhere you will collapse yes right. sir, yes, sir. so so uh, you know with that uh, you know working hard concept i have a random question how many hours uh, you used to give to gate preparation because many students have a myth that preparing for gate every day they have to sit 16 18 hours then only it is possible uh -huh. is it the case or is it just a myth no 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 <laughs> myth myth such a myth i used to spend only at least 6 to 7 hours per day Okay. Yeah, I think average comes yes. out to be that only. Sometimes it may go ten, eleven yes. hours also in the flow. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. sometimes it may be not yes, a favorable day. We are able to study only three, four hours. But average, if you are spending yes. seven hours uh, throughout the journey, I think it's a good. Yeah, yeah. So that's what yes. true. It's not a rocket science cracking this examination. It's yeah, yeah. about uh, starting from fundamentals, solving more and more, more and more problems, more. being consistent. You know, take out a six, yeah, seven yes, day. Sometimes less, sometimes more. You know, sometimes you may study zero hours. Don't curse yourself. It may happen your health is not good, yeah, yeah. or some relatives came yes. or something and happened. So don't curse. Compensate on the weekend. And there are methods. Okay, just be cool. Enjoy yes, the preparation journey, and you will see yourself. You know, some topper like Shanmukha yes. here with us. <laughs> Yes. So so nice nice having a discussion with you Shanmika on your preparation journey on your approach uh, to problem practice and etc and I just hope this video you know whenever anybody watches in the future will get some good motivation to prepare for 25 or 26 exam. Yes. Yeah thank you thank you thank, thank you for joining us thank you thank all you, the very you. best. Thank you. Sir.